This is L Sharpton, and this is Atlantopedia, the A, from A to Z, and I'm doing the letter B. Boulevard. Made at least 3,000 on a boulevard. That's right down the street from me. And Boulevard just cuts right through uh, the city. As soon as you get off that Freedom Parkway, you'll see what's going on. They have a lot of interesting characters in Boulevard. Boulevard has a lot of things popping off, man, and it's Boulevard of the Boulevards. Dame Joyner, man. Another influencer, and I just love that brother. He is what Atlanta is. He represents the city to so hard, and uh, he eats, drinks, sleeps Atlanta. And uh, he's just really a good guy. And uh, he wears those shirts, Atlanta influences everything. It's because we do. We do influence everything. I love the city. Big boy, Atlanta, you know, represent Outcast. Shout out to Andre 3000, but big boy, he's still bringing it, man. He's rhyming, he's an entrepreneur. He's cool than a, what? Polar bear toenails? I say so. Buckhead, yo, that used to be the joint back in the day when I first moved here in 90. Everyone was like, you gotta go to Buckhead, all the clubs. Yo, that shit shut down, man. A couple of stabbings, uh, some uh, craziness that was going on around that way. They were like, yo, shit is a wrap. But now it's high end. A lot of malls that are really expensive to buy stuff from, but it's all right. Buckhead is popping. Let's, let's step up a little bit over there in Buckhead and get a little representation. Black history, and B for Bill Campbell, one of our mayors. But you step into the airport and you see black history already. You see so many brothers and sisters making it happen. B for the highway. You wanna be on some weird of the world shit? Go to B for the highway. You're gonna go ahead and get some Asian food. You're gonna get some Latin inspired food. You're gonna get African food. You're gonna get all kinds of different types of uh, edibles going on along that uh, strip. It's like the cheap plane ticket where you don't have to fly to go ahead and explore the world. That's what Beaufort Highway brings to us. So you might see some weird shit swimming in the tank, but go ahead and order it, see what's up. Be adventurous. Bruh, there's so many, shit, you could say bruh so many different ways. You're like, hey, what's up, bruh? And you'd be like, bruh. Like some shit really went down when you say it like that. But it's just another way of saying brother, bro, the whole nine, but what it is is a word of solidarity. When you call it bruh, you guys are fam a little bit. Unless somebody's fucking up, you're like, yo, bruh, what the fuck? Besides that, bruh's a great word to use. Oh, barbecue, you gotta come to the South and have a little bit of that barbecue now, but Bees Crackling is murdering it right now. And then of course you got the twins, you got the twins rocking it with the Fox Brothers. They're, might be the most famous or most prominent. Yo, barbecue's my joint, I love pairing beer with it. Oh, the Beltline, the Beltline is happening right now. I really, I think that's the best thing going on in Atlanta. So many things developing. I'm in the 04th Ward. I love to walk over there. You get your walk on, you get your scootering on. Great restaurants, love Croc Street Market. And now it's going, it's gonna be about 22 miles, I believe, uh, in total. Definitely the West End is killing it as well. A lot of breweries over there. I just, obviously, you know I love breweries. But also, hopefully, we uh, resolve some issues with the people who might be getting displaced and finding great housing for everybody so that everybody can enjoy it. Message! Oh, the bank head? I'm not even gonna try to play myself and do it. I mean, it's been a while since I've done it, but really that might be the most iconic dance that Atlanta has produced. And uh, you were doing that, especially in the middle of the highway on 85 during Freaknik. People were doing that with, it was, the traffic was stopped. And this is one of the most craziest traffic uh, cities in the world. And people were out there bank head bouncing on 85. You know you're getting it in. So I was managing during the day. That was like one of my first jobs besides working with Sony. So he said, yo, you need to come through at night. I said, what? Okay, cool, I'll come through, you know, see what's good. Walked in there and I literally saw like Atlanta rappers on top of tables. They kept bouncing and it was nuts. Mad celebrities in there, it was crazy. I was, I was like, wow, I love this city. I'm staying here. Oh man, beer is what I do. It's the world's best beverage. See, I did two V's in there too. Fit some more in there. There's ales, there's lagers. I'm an ale guy. It all depends on the yeast you use, but I'm not gonna get technical. Just know that it's very misunderstood. Everybody thinks beer is bitter. It's not, not all beer is bitter. And it can uh, emulate any flavor. It could be chocolate, you could taste peanut butter, raspberries. There's so many different styles and flavors. Sour, sweet, bitter. Oh, there's another beer right there. I love uh, the history of Atlanta's beer scene and the breweries, uh, shout to Marthasville, they were the first to do it. And then Atlanta Brewing uh, came and did it. Then they turned the red brick and Atlanta Brewing again, shout out to them. But Sweetwater, gotta give a shout out to them. I love hops. And they brought in that 420 and really blessed the hop heads. That's people who really like that bitter flavor. So the 420's crazy, the, the uh, IPA is nuts. Now they're making beer with Kush and all that. Try their brew, try their food, kick it at Sweetwater. One more gangster B is Butter ATL. 
And thank you for bringing me on to this and what you're doing for Atlanta. I love y'all. We got more work to do. Let's kick it. Shout out to Butter ATF.